And we're live. Welcome to Sprint 13 Review, Common Stack's uh, effort to push this thing forward and change the way public goods are funded. Uh, we have a lot of action this sprint, so we'll just dive right into it. Uh, I want to start off with the TEC config dashboard, <laughs> the hash config dashboard. It has been an epic undertaking and has uh, had a lot of different iterations because as we start playing with it, uh, we realize how complicated even this simple uh, DAO configuration really is. Uh, but we have a nice little video up here that explains it all. And we've simplified a lot of pieces. We got rid of some uh, factors that are really just more of a distraction. So we could focus on uh, the two big sec uh, pieces of decision making and configuration that we have to do. The first is in the fundraise section, which we call the hatch. In the, the hatch configuration, where we really determine the connection between the backers, the people who put funds in, and the builders, the people who have in, earned impact hours for their work with the TEC thus far. And uh, determining a fair uh, distribution of that de dependent on how much funds are raised. So as you can see, like depending on uh, the amount of funds that are raised, this will change the amount of tokens that the builders get versus the people who put money in. This is in opposition to, oh, the team just gets 10%, right, uh, of the tokens. And so this is a more dynamic uh, uh, decision-making process. And this is what you get to decide. Uh, this is a, the major part of our experiment with the token engineering commons is the, uh, the your economy, your choice effort. And so uh, here there's the two decisions, basically how much money goes to the builders, or sorry, how many tokens are controlled by the builders and how many tokens are controlled by the backers. And uh, then of course the actual DAO configuration. I believe this will be the first DAO ever where the pe or people before the DAO is launched get to decide uh, how much support required is, is taken for a, a, a proposal to pass. And this is how we decide before the DAO is actually launched. This is the a first step towards ending the crypto technocracy and it's a huge one and it's ready for you. Uh, so go in, go to params.tecommons.org slash hatch and play. Try to propose your own parameters. And it's it's really fun. If you if you do something, uh, if you do something wrong, uh, we have some error memes. This is an Easter egg for the for the for the superstars that are playing. Uh, we have some memes that pop up if you if you go out of bounds. So uh, yeah, and with that, I'll pass it to Tim. And I'm going to share my screen now. Cool. And um, I'll continue on the TEC front, actually, and give a little update on our progress to the hatch. Uh, the TEC is the first community to choose to deploy the common stack design pattern and it's a closed hatch so it's only open to you the trusted seed members. Uh, the Hatcher outreach team has been extremely active, one might say on fire. Uh, we've had uh, individual outreach to 90 people and nine, over 90 people and 90 confirmed Hatchers uh, with 390,000 die in soft commitments so far. Um, we have an updated uh, roadmap that I want to share because we made some changes. Um, the hatch uh, is going to still be in the end of May, um, but we've extended the timeline for the parameters voting because it's so important and we really want to get this right. So uh, please come and have a look at the roadmap if you want to see what all the working groups are doing. Um, what else have I got now to go to the common stack side? We have 13 sprints under our belt together. Uh, we are now a smooth operating machine. Uh, what we do at the end of every sprint is close it out. Um, this sprint is a commons sprout. Uh, this sweet little picture of a baby here and these wonderful little Easter eggs that Ivy leaves us because she prepares these boards for us and always creates something cute for us just to have a smile as we start our retro. Uh, and this is what we'll be doing immediately after this call. So as soon as we end this video, we will jump into the sprint retro board. And on Monday, we'll be planning our new sprint. So uh, if you wanna see what we're working on for the next sprint, come over to our Zen Hub board and you can see the work that each of us is doing. And with that, I'll pass to Livia. Thank you, Tam. Um, I'm gonna continue talking about the trusted seed and 
the MVV activation that uh, the MVV uh, process that we have going now that is the mission, vision, and values runoff. So we had a first session that I shared a little bit in our last uh, sprint retrospective that was um, when everyone could submit proposals and vote on the proposals that were there of your favorite mission, vision, and values. So we had uh, the top three most voted submissions that are now running for the runoff. And why is it so important to have a mission, vision, and values decided by the community? Because the vision is um, a, shared, a shared utopian goal for the future, is something that can be very creative how you design the vision it's the place where we want to look towards with, without shying away from what are we capable of doing. So it's a very inspiring path to go towards. And the mission talks about how are we gonna achieve that? So in practical terms, how do we, how, what are we doing already to fulfill that mission? And the values is what do we choose to uphold as a community in our relational fabric to make this happen in an ethical way. So it's been really amazing, the, um, uh, the engagement that we've been having. So these are the, the top three proposals and they have three, five and five comments on them. And we're using this really cool tool that is token log. Uh, lots of praise to Wesley, that is the, the one man uh, developer for this tool that uh, has been helping us a lot in, in the soft governance side because nothing happens on chain besides the signatures. So you have um, all of you C stack holders and also impact our token holders who are the people that are contributing to the cultural build have uh, voting power to this session. So it's really, really important that uh, we get everyone's participation because uh, this is your economy, your choice. This is a, a statement that we've been very proud of uptaking and that it has a lot to do with the dashboard that Griff also shared about. So all our decisions are being made in a collective way and a very grassroots uh, economics type of way that everything that has been done, uh, it's been chosen by the community and the people that are more involved in it. So we really want you to be involved in it. So I put up this very quick um, one, two, three steps of how to do it. Um, yeah, it's very simple. You just have to be on X Dai Ching. And if you don't have that added to your network yet, you can find simple instructions here. And also Griff made um, an awesome two minute video explaining how to go towards, the, how to go around this process. Um, so it's very, very simple. He did it in two minutes. You can probably do it uh, in maybe five minutes because you'll have to read the submissions, but it's really fun. And with that, I will pass to Chris. Awesome. And I will also share my screen. So yeah, the biggest thing uh, that is kind of developing and on its way out is uh, our praise case study. So uh, thanks to a number of great contributors, both in the writing academic side and research side, uh, ATA, as well as our design team uh, have put in some great work uh, into putting this, uh, this yeah, uh, template together for the, for this, uh, case study as well as all of our uh, upcoming uh, publications. So we've got a really great look into how, uh, how the praise system came about, what the purpose of it is, um, how it works and how it's evolved and its current implementation in the token engineering system. So if you guys are interested in digging into this great piece of, uh, of writing and research, you can get, uh, you can get it at our new landing page that we are just rolling out now. So the way that we've uh, set this up is uh, a HubSpot landing page uh, with a short little form. The only really required uh, piece of this is the uh, email. The other form, the other pieces of the form are 
just optional, but they help us to really group, uh, group. if you're someone that's been involved with us in the past, if you're in the trusted seed, for example, or uh, if you've been involved with the common stack before, it helps us group all of your information together and make sure that uh, everything's all kind of going to you. Um, but yeah, this, this is also set up to, uh, create a larger research distribution list. So as we as we create um, additional pieces of, um, of research, uh, additional case studies, that kind of thing, we can use this sort of landing page to both send it out, um, distribute it, and contribute uh, to our, our mailing list and our, our community. Um, so yeah, that's the biggest thing uh, that we've got uh, in, in the communications area right now. Um, we've also, uh, uh, added the ability to claim some of your CStack related uh, Discord roles. So if you haven't done that on the Discord server, make sure you head in there uh, and claim it. The, uh, there's a server uh, channel specific for it. Um, and all you have to do is go in there, make sure that your MetaMask is already connected to the XDI system, uh, to the network, and then uh, type exclamation mark join, and it'll send you through collab land and it'll send you back with uh, some new roles related to how much C-Stack you have. So if you haven't done that, jump in there, do it, uh, and let us know. If, you aren't, if you're new to the Discord server, let us know. We're, we'd ha be happy to show you around. Uh, and with that, uh, I'll pass to Jess. Thanks, Chris. The priest uh, study turned out really awesome. So looking forward to seeing more of that. Speaking of research, maybe it's a good segue. Um, we have been supporting governance research with a few different groups, so that's kind of ongoing, and I just wanted to share, Livia was talking about token log, and token log, the beauty of open source, is already making babies. Our friends over at Habitat actually built their own version, um, and they're working on a layer two governance uh, roll-up solution for communities, so we've been supporting them in their research, and also there is a fantastic presentation by Renzo D'Andrea, who we have been having some great whiteboarding sessions um, talking about platform ecosystem thinking and, and governance. So if you get a chance, we'll post that link below and you can check out Renzo's talk. Uh, really great kind of overview when you're looking at systems engineering and governance, which is a huge topic. Um, and we'll have some more really cool opportunities to collaborate on a, an upcoming event in governance. So I'll have more about that in the, in the next sprint. But the main thing we wanna talk about today is we're hiring, so uh, we posted this job opening. Um, we can really use a fantastic self-starter and somebody experienced in content distribution and social media manager to join our team, a remote part-time position that could grow to full-time. You could come and be on these calls maybe and join us, uh, get a little closer, sprout with us, uh, so we have this uh, job posting here on LinkedIn and also on Twitter. So even if you're not looking, we would super appreciate your support and sharing this around or sharing this with um, somebody who you think is aligned with our mission that has this skill set that we're looking for. So appreciate it and thank you in advance uh, for supporting us as we continue to grow and, and scale this uh, incredible project an ecosystem. And then two quick mentions um, on the partnerships uh, arena. We have an exciting uh, partnership in the works, Regen Network. We just want to say a huge congratulations. They had a huge launch uh, last week. It's an incredible platform. If you haven't checked it out, they're doing amazing things. They want to have DAOs for land stewards and scientists and communities um, and even land that has been assigned personhood. So they are doing incredible work and we're partnering with them. So we're working on an agreement now that may involve something special for the trusted seed so that uh, more news to come on that. And then also seeds are buddies who are looking at building bioregional economies. They have launched HIFA, uh, the do, they call it the DO, Decentralized Human Organization. So they're also looking at the importance of keeping these things pro-social and human. So um, Jeff and I are joining as ambassadors to their DAO and we'll be submitting a proposal to support the work of the common stack. So huge thanks to seeds uh, for supporting each other. And also if um, you're part of an organization, we are uh, looking at ways that we can collaborate. So I look forward to uh, hearing from you through our channel. So feel free to reach out in Discord. And with that, I will pass it to Jeff, who has been heads down on a lot of stuff and maybe just wants to 
to say hey and share a little bit of what's coming in the next sprint. Uh, Is that the unmute button? I think so. Okay, uh, cool. So yeah, the um, main thing I wanted to share this uh, this sprint was the uh, CommonStack content map. Um, so we've had a lot of contributors uh, join our channels and uh, you know dig into a couple of our pieces and just uh, I figured it would help to have sort of a flow of the content. So uh, we put this together. We're going to start pinning it in our channels and share it uh, in our communities. But it just starts at the beginning uh, with what is the CommonStack a couple of our pieces on sort of the high level, um, how to join, how to get involved, all of our articles. So just kind of organizing it by topic, why we need the common stack, um, you know, what it can be used to do, uh, modeling the commons, token engineering and the common simulator. So basically just organizing all of our written content, some of our research and academic papers, um, you know, grouping our component pieces, uh, component by component. Um, and yeah, of course, uh, questions and, and how to get in touch with, uh, for more information. Um, and we're planning on, uh, yeah, kind of opening up a few more Notion pages um, that give uh, contributors or, or people who are interested in the pro uh, progress of the common stack uh, insight into uh, all of the interesting things going on and, and kind of this persistent spot that you can go to see um, our updated content and, and catch up with all the exciting developments uh, at the common stack. Um, so that's all I'm going to show for, for this week, and I'll pass it to Dan to bring us home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really have much to show, uh, so I'll keep it brief. So basically, I just wanted to let you guys know that we had so far this month, beautiful April, uh, 41 applications to the trusted seat, unique applications. So that's that's great. Uh, it's not as much as last month, but last month was crazy, was nuts. We had 95 applications last month. So uh, there's a still time for it to grow. But anyway, the thing is like also with Revis, Revis it, uh, for example, our process in terms of like uh, some people apply and, and they're missing an e address. Uh, there's there's missing information. So basically we, are, we created a process for that. So we can reach out to you and have this. Okay, so we need some extra information on that uh, so you can get actually into the trusted seat. So now there is a process for that that we'll be testing basically in the next run, in the next week. And what else can I tell you? Uh, <laughs> something fun to know is that we've had 99 activations so far of Trusted Seed membership, and that's not the complete number, but man, I mean, it's beautiful. Uh, there's around 450 of you that can still activate. There are scholarships, so please go ahead, take the time, jump on it, ask us questions, you know, maybe, you know. Now there's the content map, the content map that Jeff just showed is going in the emails from now on. So we had that in the flow of the trusted seed when people apply, uh, where people get their, their notification on a successful application and if we need more information, as I just mentioned. So basically, because this is an ocean of information and, and beautiful things. Something that I wanna let you know is that our DAO was down <laughs> for like a week. And yeah, I mean, we will be minting basically probably today. So that's beautiful. Uh, so when you get this, this review call, you probably already had system increase. And, but yeah, just a shout out to Sam for fixing that for us. It was amazing work, real fast work. And you know, it's just basically you keep the value flow going. And, and yes, I guess ah, something else that's beautiful to think about is that we're working on a transparency list for the trusted seat. Th that I cannot show as well. It's, it's, it's on the words, but I don't want to DOX anybody. But anyway, basically, just so everybody in the trusted seat knows who is in the trusted seat. And, you know, it's, it incentivizes you to, to participate who, who is part of all these beautiful shared purpose, shared values, and shared narrative towards the future. So, yeah, I ramble a little bit, but I love you guys. So, give it back to you, Greg. Great. No, thank you. Thank you, Dan. Thank you all of you guys uh, for a great sprint. Another great sprint. Uh, this one's in the books. I want to give special praise to people who helped us make this sprint, but aren't here right now. Obviously, Ivy, our eighth member of our team who organizes everything for us and makes so much magic happen behind the scenes. While well, we're all asleep, she's working hard and uh, and she's asleep right now. So <laughs> uh, I also want to give praise to Fabio, Vitor, Jake, Mitch, Lauren, YGG, Santi, and Sam for their work on the Hatch config dashboard. Uh, couldn't have happened without all of them. 
Uh, Wesley for token log, we're basing all of our governance off of his work uh, for the early stage of the TEC hatched out. So that's super cool. I want to give praise to ViveIV and, and RDFBBX for their help on, with the Discord and all the bots. Uh, also praise to both the Jameses from Abridged for making Collab Land, which uh, we used to make our CSAC score Discord channels. Uh, also praise to Josie, Atta, Danilo for their help on the praise study. Uh, praise to Ivy and Nathan for helping manage content distribution up until this point uh, and also helping to put together that job description. I also want to pra praise, of course, Greg and the rest of the region network crew uh, for making the seed partnership seeds partnership possible and then christopher merlin and amin for keeping the swiss membership dap going this this sprint uh and and squashing all our bugs and then of course sem gabby and luke uh on behalf of the entire x dow x die community for fixing all of the uh ipfs pinning issues to make DAOs work on x die uh thank you guys and a great sprint we'll see you again in two weeks bye everyone